What's up guys? I am in Pennsylvania at my dad's house and I just finished packing up my truck for Florida. I'm going to show you guys how to pack a board bag. Winola Gaming asked, can you do a vlog on how to pack your surfboards please? So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the quick and simple route. Um, there's a lot of ways to do this. Obviously it's not always going to be the same exact thing, but there's a couple things that you should probably know. First things off the top of my head, pack your towels, your wetsuits, and some of your clothes inside the board bag. A lot of times when I'm traveling by plane, I bring one carry-on with all of the my important stuff, laptop, camera, stuff like that. And I'm not really much for fashion, obviously, so I actually throw my wetsuits, my towels, my fins, my leashes, my boards, all my clothing into the board bag. So I'm not going to do that today because I'm going to be driving to Florida, but I am going to show you guys how to stuff your bag safely and make it happen. Yeah. All right, I got three wetsuits and two boards. Today I got a slim bag, but it is a two board bag. I'm hoping I can get these things in here. So it's hard to tell which board to put on the top and which to put on the bottom because no matter what, it's kind of always dangerous to travel with boards. You can sometimes smoke them, especially if you're traveling by plane. Today I'm gonna to be putting my pig dog on the bottom here. Ugh, this board bag's a little wet. And up here in the nose area, I'm gonna pack a wetsuit. Now you can do this with towels, you can do this with clothing, but today I got a wetsuit, so I'm gonna ball her up real nice. Nothing too special. Wrap her around the nose and uh, make sure she's fitting in there. I'm gonna take my towel or, you know, anything I have for padding. Today it's just my towel. I'm gonna go in the back end here and I'm gonna wrap it around the tail of my surfboard, blocking that from damage. As you can see, I have this gray flap. That's a board divider for wax and a little bit of extra padding. Now I'm gonna add in my second surfboard. We're already a little tight. And this wetsuit's gonna have to do both of the noses. Padding the noses of both boards. And we're, look, we're starting to look a little better here. Now normally, I would lay another wetsuit right in here. But I don't know if this board bag is going to give me enough room. Our two board bags, but they kind of only ever fit one. So here we go. Definitely running low on space, but I got... You can usually finagle it together when it's up standing on its side. These boards are definitely a little tight in this bag with suits. But mission accomplished once I get this zipped because I've got a wetsuit up here blocking my noses. I've got padding on the bottom, two boards, a wetsuit across the top, padding that, and a towel on the back. Sling this thing over my shoulder, and there you go. Safely packed, ready to rip. And you know, if you have a little bit bigger of a board bag or you're only bringing one board, you can put your clothing in there and uh, whatever else you need and it works like a charm so hope that was helpful and uh just make sure to protect the nose the tail and the rails as much as possible you let's get ready to go to florida heavy oh we dev shit man i've been this stoked in a long time man <sighs> been a long time man i've been this stoked in a long time man <laughs> you nailed it My dad is into some crazy music, but uh, all right, here we go. Um, off to Florida. Hope you guys are stoked. Uh, filming a commercial with NPI Productions, announcing the NSSA Easterns, and that's about it. Heading home. Hopefully, I score some surf, and it's gonna be fucking warm down there. So I'm stoked. Thank you guys for all the love and support. Let's roll. You. We're leaving this, We're leaving this snow behind. That's where I got shorts on. I'm just gonna jump out the motherfucking whip in my, in my Nike shorts. I'm right, whatever they are. In my Adidas shorts. <laughs> but I'm gonna jump out the whip in warm weather. Hopefully I make it that far today. All right, Woo. Whoa! 
What the fuck is that? Heavy hitters. Daylight. Fuck is that all about? What the fuck is that all about? This seems kind of heavy. A lot of crazy shit going on on Interstate 95 if you guys ever drive it. So a little bit of construction, you know, 30, 40 minutes of held up traffic. Right now we're in Maryland, about 47 miles from the border of Virginia. So on the way. You. Oh, hell fucking yeah. All right. We are in Virginia, 100 miles from South Carolina. Stopping at the spot. Getting warmer out, I can say that. <laughs> Haven't been this stoked in a while, man. One frickin' iced coffee and one frickin' hot coffee, man. I actually haven't been this stoked in a fucking while, man. Fuck yeah. Woo! folks currently in South Carolina no North Carolina and it's hot out this is a good sign for Florida boys look at this truck whack-a-mole whack-a-mole is that that game at the arcade whack-a-mole is that whack-a-mole <laughs> it's 20 minutes to 7 sun's still pretty high in the sky the pie in the sky I'm 100 miles from South Carolina. I feel like my road trips used to be more fun. I don't know if that's because I've been driving so fucking much, or maybe I'm just not as fun anymore. Excited to be going to Florida. I hope you guys are stoked for the journey. We've got a lot of exciting stuff coming up. Hopefully I'm gonna be surfing a bunch, so. I got three brand new surfboards. Stoked to try them out. And I got my new FCS fins. Got my bare mattress in the back. I'm gonna be sleeping on that. Yeah, all kinds of fun stuff. And I hope you guys are pumped. I'm trying to set up some action while I'm down there. Inevitably announce the NSSA Easterns, which is gonna be great. Just gotta keep moving, people. Sometimes it's really hard for me to leave home. Uh, I definitely battle with a little bit of anxiety. Today, a lot of bit of anxiety. Uh, my brain was telling me all kinds of crazy shit that I just shouldn't go. Um, and I think that's a lesson to be learned in life. Like, the human condition, you're always gonna try to hold yourself back. And you just gotta keep taking those little leaps of faith. I know driving to Florida is nothing crazy, but I did not wanna fucking leave. So, in order to keep move in and keep uh, progressing in all my fields. I gotta stay on the road and keep doing this kind of stuff. So gotta keep pulling myself away from home, which is really hard. In the end, hopefully it's all worth it, you know? Hopefully the vlog becomes a booming success. I mean, it already is, you know, emotionally for me, it's a huge success. Hopefully it becomes, you know, a financial success. I can just keep growing that and, you know, keep creating because that's really what I wanna do with my life. I just wanna create. Music, surfing, edits, the whole deal. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, my announcing career goes somewhere, my surfing career keeps getting better, everything. As long as I think, as long as I keep moving, um, I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna keep growing and spiritually and, 
you know, in every way. Thank you guys for always coming along on the journey and supporting me. This has been a radical fucking experience. Since I got sober, holy shit, when was that? I don't know if it's a year and a half yet, but it was a while ago, a year and three months ago, maybe a year and two months ago. So 14 months I've been sober, completely sober, and uh, vlogging straight every day. And it has been an amazing journey. And I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for everything. It's been fucking awesome, so thank you. Woo! Every time I show up here, I forget how fucking heavy this place really is. And when I say heavy, I mean totally fucking creepy. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, show up, blow up south of the border. Let's go check out Fort Pedro for a couple minutes, see if I can find anything to buy. This place is so weird, dude. There's nobody here. What is going on, dude? This is wild. Oh, they're closed. Oh, they're closed. All right, here we go. Now it's official. Out here, boys. You would think that I would want that big ass coffee cup. But how could you ever want anything from here? <laughs> It's actually impossible to find something that you would ever want at south of the border. That's how heavy this place has truly gotten. That's two times in a row I've been here and didn't get anything. <laughs> so sad, but it's rad. This is so fucking sketchy. What the fuck is this? Right in the middle of 95, one single creepy lane. So weird, dude. That officially marks more than 12 hours on the road. At this point, I'm even starting to scare myself. Oh, hot fucking damn! I haven't been this stoked in a while, man! Fuck yeah, Georgia, bitch! Alright guys, just crossed the border into Georgia. Look at all those truckers, holy shit. And I just got to the rest center. Not much to say, made it all the way to fucking Georgia. I can't even believe it. I am going to, I'm gonna go to sleep, climb in the back there, sprawl out on my bare mattress, and try to get as much sleep as possible before the cold gets to me. And then, I'm going to get up and go shred it. Wake up and hit the sash. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm so tired. So, good night, guys. Thank you for everything. I love you guys. Love Nation for the fucking win. You guys rule. Seriously, thanks for everything. And uh, we're almost to Florida, so I'll see you guys in the morning for drinking coffee and talking shit. Good night. Thanks, guys. You. Time travel. Preposterous. I've researched time travel my whole entire life. And until today, I've known through the numbers, through the math, through the objectivity that it was impossible. But now, on this day, I have found my life's work. My missing link. One being connecting all of time. One being that's been there since the beginning and will continue to be there till the end. That being one man? No. One woman? No. One chihuahua? Throughout history, this being has shown up in every single time period. Attila the John, Ben Junman Franklin, June F. Kennedy, June Lennon of the Beatles, June of Arc, June W. Bush, 
John Washington, fighter in the Revolutionary War, the Jonah Lisa, Junius Caesar, Martin Luther King Jr. We've just gotten word that the Bean June is ready to make a speech at the White House. She will be speaking live over the TV from the future. There you have it, folks. Time travel solved. Happy birthday, Mom.